Is there room to compare on some level the Hasidic movement with the Musser movement of Eastern Europe? The Muslim movement in Eastern Europe, I think the comparison is the search for more. The search for more was a very, very prevalent experience as the exile was getting longer. Challenges were becoming stronger. The foundations of Judaism that were kept intact for thousands of years were unraveling because of tremendous pressure and influence from the outside. In all communities, there were casualties in mass, there was a search for more. So the response in Lithuania, the founder of the Muslim movement is known as Rabbi Sral Salanter. He came from a city called Salant. His last name was actually Lipkin, Rabbi Sral Lipkin. He was a great mind and a great heart. And he tried to introduce a focus on ethics in the Jewish world of Lithuania, interpersonal relationships, focusing on your refinement, what we call menschlichkeit, on your midas, you know, putting your ego in place, not just serving God, doing the laws and learning the Torah, but actually what does it do to you as a person? Becoming a personality of Torah, becoming a refined personality of Torah. That was a very, very profound movement and it had a very profound impact on many Jews. And Musa also had its opposition within the Lithuanian Jewish world. But I would say the approach of Hasidus and Musa, even though there are some similarities, the similarities are focusing a lot on personal refinement, focusing a lot not just on doing the mitzvah, but how you do the mitzvah, the intent, focusing a lot on your interpersonal relationships, how you treat other people, how you treat other people different than you, focusing a lot on humility and the lack of arrogance and haughtiness and egotism, especially in the name of religion. Over there, there are many, many similarities. But there are also fundamental differences, I would say, especially in approach perspectives, and teachings. One of the major differences is in Musr, there's a lot of focus often on the toxicity of the ego, the toxicity of evil, uh, how careful we have to be from all of the various negative emotions that can kidnap us and can attack us. I would say in Hasidus, there was more a focus on the infinite greatness of man who is an extension of the infinite consciousness of God. That's, I think, one of the key uh, distinctions.